Well, my tips for a perfect mustache, I didn't believe it was as much work as it's possibly been to grow this thing, to be honest with you. When I first started out, we did it, you know, Johnny Damon and I did it for fun, and uh, then it kind of took on a life of its own. So after that, you know, I had to start trimming it and kind of shaping it a little bit. And I even had to, uh, now that I'm getting older, there was a little bit of gray in there, so I had to kind of work that out. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's kind of taken a life of its own. The fashion icon has turned around. And when you say uh, you had to work out the gray, what's the preferred product? And uh, how's that process? Well, I just I just went to the drugstore real quick and got Just For Men because I figured that'd be the easiest. And I found out there was a little more work to it than I thought. And I, I didn't really want to dye my whole upper lip at the beginning how I first did it. So I had to kind of wash it out and kind of pick and choose my spots where I needed to darken it up. And when you showed up with a darker stash, how did the teammates react? Oh, they loved it. Actually, Derek Jeter's been pine, uh, you know, pining for me to do it for a long time. When I first started growing it, I, I made a deal with him. If we lost two in a row at one point, because we were on a hot streak, that I would darken it up. So we lost two in a row, and he, I think he was the happiest guy in the stadium. And uh, over the years, a lot of great stashes. Tell me about your stash uh, icons. Uh, either sports or non-sports. Well, I, I mean, my, I guess if I could relate to in sports, it was Don Mattingly was my first hero as a kid, and you know, Donnie Baseball had the perfect mustache, and I got a chance to play against him my rookie year. Keith Hernandez, you know, Goose Gossage, you know, Raleigh. So there's been a lot of guys that have that have sported the stash. So uh, maybe it's my tribute to them. And uh, all right, do you consider it a porn star, B pizza delivery man, or C straight state trooper? I think I've got a nice blend, to be honest with you. When it's lighter, it's definitely a 70s porn star. Right now, I could be, when it gets a little bit fuller, I definitely can be the pizza delivery man. And uh, right now, if I had some mirror glass, I could be a pretty good state trooper, though. And what's, what, what's the best part about having a stash? Is it the flavor saving? <laughs> Is it uh, something we haven't even considered? Tell us a little bit about the pros and cons. Well, definitely, I think the biggest thing, definitely the cons is you got to watch what you eat because it could stay in there for days. And uh, I guess definitely the pros are when people kind of look at you, they kind of look at you with that, like Scott Rowland said it best, it's so creepy, it's awesome. Last question and probably the most important question. How have the ladies reacted to it? I, you know, it's been unbelievable. They absolutely love it, which I can't believe. Because uh, I'm almost in that category of molester to, uh, you know, like porn star. So it's, it, it's but like I said, it's people absolutely love it. I think, I think people look at it and go, wow, this guy's got enough balls to grow a mustache. <laughs>